Blessed and happy Thursday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack, my dear Kababayans. Today is Thursday within the sixth week of Easter, and our Gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of John, chapter 16, verses 16 to 20. I was deeply moved by the last line of today's Gospel. It says, and I quote, when Jesus said, you will weep and mourn, you will have pain, but your pain will turn into joy. End of the quote. I love very much the line, you will have pain, but your pain will turn into joy. The message of today's gospel is very clear. Friends, we will have pains. We are not exempted of it. That is part of being human. We will experience sorrows. We will cry. We definitely have our stories of agony and stories of sufferings. But the good news is this. Pain, sorrow, agony, sufferings, stress. These are only temporary, meaning to say it is not permanent. The Lord promised us and His promise is very clear. Your pain will turn into joy. I say it again and listen to this. Your pain will turn into joy. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, I am not sure what causes you pain. I do not know what makes you cry. I do not know what makes you sad. I do not know what troubles you. But let me remind you, problems has an expiration date. Our pains, our struggles are just passing. Storms, they are not forever. Failures are not our final destination. What caused you pain? It will subside one day. The Lord said, it is just a little while. You know, I firmly believe after the darkness, there is light. There is light after the tunnel. Our pain is just a little while. That's why it's very comforting to know and it is very consoling to know that our God cares for us. Because when he said your pain will turn into joy, meaning to say one day he will change our tears into smiles. He will transform our mourning into dancing and rejoicing. And you know what, my dear friends, there is joy in knowing that everything is temporary, including your pains, including your stress, and including your problems. Let me conclude by saying, God only makes happy ending. So, if, if you are not happy, then it's not the end yet. Because God said, I will turn your pain into joy. All our pains, all our problems, all our sorrows is just a little while. Hold on to God. Because I firmly believe that your biggest burden today will eventually one day become your greatest blessing. You will weep. You will mourn. You will have pain. But your pain will turn into joy, says the Lord. Amen.